And then Pierce is like, well, she has the title now. Nothing I can do. And then he was wrestling Shotzi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I'm just going to just leave it there. <laughs> you know what? We don't have to talk about SmackDown. Oh, we do. Let's talk about our controversial political opinions instead. I think that would be better received. <laughs> That'll get the people going. That'll get the people going better. So SmackDown, we start off with Charlotte and Shotzi versus Bailey and EO. And I didn't watch the match. I said, fuck it. Anything happen? Did anything happen? During the match, not really. I did see the aftermath. Yeah. It's more okay. so after the match where all the stuff happened. And then before the after the match, because Bailey was like waiting for this spot for the longest time and she was on the top rope mm -hmm. at least for like i don't know it felt like a whole minute she was up there looking out to the crowd waiting for that spot <laughs> and then finally oscar shows up okay yeah so the only part of important by the way shotzi beat bailey so yo lost to shotzi tonight but Shot the only part of importance is uh about that what's that I said, shot, she's on a winning streak. As a matter of fact, since she's cut her hair, she hadn't lost, I don't think. Oh, boy. The only part of importance for me was Asuka. Remember her? I think I've heard her name before. Well, she comes, and she's standing in the stands uh, right behind Dakota Kai, who's holding EO Sky's championship belt. Asuka then takes it upon herself to steal EO's title, and the crowd seemed to cheer pretty hard at that. So then after this stupid match, Oscar uh, parades in the ring with the belt. EO slides in the ring with like this murderous glare. And then they start talking shit in Japanese. And Asuka throws the belt in between them. And Asuka has like white contacts. So she looks creepier than usual. And she and, seems to have uh, got a new haircut. And, and she's like more pink than ever. Yeah. It used to be red, but that was pink. Yeah. So yeah, they had to stare down. And the moment we have been waiting for seems to be upon us. It is. It is. I believe they announced it for two weeks from now. Two weeks it from is now. here. Yep. EO said, you want a match? You got it. Yeah. 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 So later on uh, the damage control, they're backstage and the lady asks about Oscar. And then Bailey says, Oscar better mind her own business or she'll be put on the shelf just like Bianca. And then the lady asks, well, is that a challenge? And then EO interrupts and she says that she's ready for Oscar. And then she challenges her to a fucking title match. And yeah, that's two weeks from Friday, which I thought was next Friday, but I don't understand why they're putting it on SmackDown. Well, I'm hoping that they give some kind of fuck finish and then it gets a pay-per-view match. Okay. I'm hoping that's just where we're going. It's the start of, you like know, this is the appetizer before the main course type thing. Yes. And then bam, we're on a pay-per-view and they get 20 minutes of pure adultery. Okay. That I'd be okay with, but if uh, I don't know if it's just a one-off on the SmackDown, they're just giving Charlotte the night off. Yeah. It better not just be as another setup to build towards uh, Charlotte. Charlotte getting the title match. Anything. Yeah. Just fucking let them wrestle. By the way, Japanese women's wrestling is probably like the most brutal sport ever. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but they fucking beat the shit out of each other. It's awesome. Uh, WWE probably won't let them do that, but that's what they're capable of. This will be an awesome match. If they keep Charlotte out of the way. Yes. Please get Charlotte. <laughs> Somehow please. Get damage control out of the way too. Trade her to Raw. <laughs> Next we get a Asuka backstage segment. Asuka says damage control forgot about her. They forgot that she was champion and never got a rematch. Like we've been saying for weeks now. We didn't forget. We didn't forget. No. The WWE did. Asuka says EO has her title, but in two weeks she's taking it back. And no one is ready for Asuka. I'm for it. Yep. It's going to be one of those dream matches. You know, people like to throw around that term dream match. Well, there you go. It's a dream match. I hope it's just a long drawn out thing. I just hope they get time. Like, That's what I'm know, saying. I want it to be like a little five minute match. Half I want a commercial. I want it to be like a six or not a six month, but however long the Cody Brock feud was, I want it to be that length and that, that drawn out and detailed. I don't want it just to be a SmackDown match and that's it. Yeah, I don't think it is. I hope so. But, but I just, I but, see Charlotte kicking EO in the face again. Or maybe, so maybe. Charlotte, Charlotte comes out and kicks both of them in the face and then holds up the title and just walks out with it. And then Pierce is like, well, she has the title now. Nothing I can do. And then EO's wrestling Shotzi. Okay. <laughs> so far, I'm just going to just leave it there. 